Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have five Italian wines in front of me, four from Tuscany, one from Friuli. Now I'm saving, uh, Friuli is probably a cooler region than Tuscany, uh, but I'm doing it last because it's made from a grape called uh, Pignolo, which uh, has a little bit of uh, <clears throat> grunt to it. And also the wine's been in oak for 36 months. Uh, and I think if I were to start with it, uh, it would uh, maybe swamp the next one. Um, so um, I'm just digging in with the Sangiovese based wines of Tuscany, uh, two Chiantis, uh, one Vino Nobile, but the first one, um, actually the first three are all from the same uh, producer. Uh, 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 there's a company called uh, Wine, The Wine People, and this is one of their brands, Volpetto. Uh, so this is their basic Sangiovese Toscana 2011 vintage. The slightly dusty, almost rusty, plum cherry character here. Uh, I don't think it's, it's trying to be anything great. It's a six quid wine, but um, it smells, um, maybe it's, I, I'd like to, I like to smell a little bit more fruit in there. I, I, I smell at the moment earthy, nice rusticity, but um, looks like maybe a bit short of fruit. Let's have a see. Simple plummy cherry glug. It's got that dustiness about it. A uh, bit of volatility. Um, it's okay. Um, it's um, it's a pretty reasonable Tuesday night type of wine. Um, got a bit of character. Uh, got a bit of um, tomato friendly um, acidity about it, and um, it's okay. But um, it's not great. Let's see whether the next one from them uh, from Volpetto is. Um, this is Chianti 2011, not Chianti Raffina or Chianti Classico. Just just Chianti. Give it a whirl. Step up in price, step up in fruit concentration, it feels like. Uh, there's still some of, some, of, some of that slightly rustic uh, uh, character about the wine, but um, here, yeah, it smells like there's a bit more, same sorts of fruits, the plums, the, uh, the dark cherries, but um, more of them. Little touch of spice, riper, rounder fruit, again, touch of volatility, uh, which um, I'm just wondering whether it, whether it needs that. It, it feels like the fruit is, is, is quite uh, perky enough uh, without having that little bit to, uh, uh, to lift its character. Um, uh, in, if that's the Tuesday night wine to start with, maybe this is uh, for slightly later in the week, but still nothing, nothing too, too uh, special. It's OK again. Let's see whether the final one from Volpetto is a step up. This is Chianti Reserva. So the first two were 2011s. This one is 2009. Uh, I'm not quite sure what Reserva means in Chianti terms, but I wouldn't be surprised if it had uh, seen some, some sort of oak ageing. New oak? I don't know. Old oak? Big oak? Small oak? Some sort of oak. Well, let's have a sniff and see. And this is a bit more of what I expect of Chianti. Uh, there is, uh, again, the cherries and plums, but then on top of that, there's this slight uh, overlay of spice, a uh, bit of cola in there. I'm not a Coca-Cola fan, but I don't mind that, that little character coming through here. And uh, it feels like it's going to have a little uh, much more uh, richness. Still a little touch of that rustic character, but I really don't mind that at all. Um, and it, but it feels like it's going to be uh, more warming, more heartening. I'm, I'm not quite sure what the difference in alcohol uh, is. That one's 12.5%. Uh, this one's 13, so not all that much. Let's see whether the extra half a percent and the extra two years and the extra care that they've taken over it is worth it. And yes, I think it is. It's a, a, a juicy, fleshy, uh, ripe and um, uh, you, just when you think it's going to go maybe that little bit too voluptuous uh, then there's the the spice and there's this um, edge of acidity that's holding it all in reining it in um, feels like a wine that's not not really built for the future uh, but at the moment um, it's it's got good fresh fruit uh, and it is yeah it's got these extra layers of, um, of flavor and spice and that, that cola comes through on the finish not in a sweet way just cola flavors it's more that ever so slightly stewed cherry that you get when you've when you've finished with it. Um, I haven't quite finished with it, so I'll, I'll just go back and revisit this bit. Okay, still in Tuscany with wine number four. This is from Avignonese, which I gather um, is um, now uh, it Italy's biggest biodynamic winery, something like that. Anyway, uh, Vino Nobile di Montepulciano, 2010. Uh, if you're not aware, it's nothing Montepulciano. Here we're talking about the town rather than the grape. Um, so um, the Montepulciano grape grows on the uh, uh, on the east coast in places like the Marche. Uh, here, 100% Sangiovese. Give it a whirl. 
much more confident wine. Not probably not quite as full body as it. I don't think it's going to be as the Chianti Reserva, but it's that uh, life beyond fruit. So it's got the fruit. It's got a little bit of the cherry. It's got a bit of the uh, plum stroke damson, and a uh, bit of black currant too. But uh, there's life beyond there, and it feels like as the wine is opening up in the glass, um, there's more of a real sense of soil here, uh, a mineral character coming through. And um, yes, the most interesting. It's uh, twice the price, more than twice the price of the previous one, so you should expect something, but it does feel like a classier wine. Yeah, it's got this minerally core um, and uh, deep, chewy flesh. There's, there's quite a lot of tan in there. Um, um, so the, 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 the three previous ones all ready to drink now. Here, uh, the, the nose suggests that, that you might want to uh, drink it now, but then you come to taste it. And there is this um, iron fist in velvet glove, if you want to call it that. There's a savoury meatiness and there's a, uh, it feels like that there's a herby character as well as the, uh, the mineral sense of soil coming through. Uh, really classy wine, actually. And what I like about it is it's not trying to um, bash you around the head with its power. It's just more quietly impressive and uh, very impressive. And then the, there's also um, something floral about it, blossom-like. Uh, vanilla, as in the sense of uh, that fresh fresh vanilla pod, that, that type of character, rather than that uh, processed vanilla of, uh, the, that speaks of um, uh, a bit of a heavy hand with the oak. Really, really nice wine. Wine number five. So out of Tuscany into Friuli here. Uh, so this is from the Comelli Winery, and it's a 2009 Pignolo. The smokiness about it, um, like uh, uh, aromatic bark, um, and uh, then there's a floral uh, character. Uh, there's berry fruit, dark berry, I'd say, loganberries, mulberries, blackberries, that end of the fruit, the, the berry spectrum. Um, but it feels like a wine that, that um, I mean, I think it's 2009 vintage. If it's been in oak for 36 months, um, and uh, so it will come out like autumn 2012, and then it's had six months rest. It's not been in England all that long. Um, and we're, we're in we're 1st of March here. So it's um, it feels like a wine that is just so desperately closed in on itself. I've had the bottle a couple of weeks, so it's had a chance to calm down. It's not as if it's just arrived hot foot from Italy and uh, is, uh, is having, um, yeah, it's suffering from uh, in transit. But it really does feel like a wine that uh, I, want, I almost want to come back to in a couple of hours. And I wouldn't be surprised if I get to it in a couple of hours and it feels like it needs another couple of hours. I'll, I'll taste it though, but, but it's, at the moment it smells like there's lots and lots going on there. But I, it's going to need a little bit of time to come out of its shell. I think I did the, exactly the right thing leaving that to the last. It is a firm tannic wine. It's strange because it's got quite lithe fruit flavours. Um, plum, blackcurrant. Um, as I say, these these dark berries, but it is this um, uh, this tannin that's holding it together and uh, making it a bit forbidding at the moment. Um, and I think some of it's from the fruit, and I think quite a lot of it's from the oak. And uh, I personally, at the moment, I'd almost question whether it needed 36 months in oak. Um, and it was new oak. Whether whether that was just too much. And I'd almost have liked to have seen it uh, uh, in 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 some older oak. But as I say, I'm going to keep an eye on it. I, it looks like there's something really quite good there. Uh, I'm just worried that they've slightly swamped it with that uh, uh, with that oak treatment. I'll give it another go though. I like the feel of the grape, but um, it's just that feel of the wood that, pers that, uh, that uh, slightly perturbs me at the moment. Uh, yeah, the Avignonese is the class act for me. I, I did like that, um, and the Volpetto. They're okay. Um, the Chianti Reserva. Yeah, well, as you move up the uh, the price ladder, uh, they they get better. I mean, the, the Chianti Reserva. What is it about nine quid? Yeah, so around there. Uh, so fair enough wine for that. But a Vignonese, uh, glass out for me, and I think that's the one I'm going to be setting into tonight. See you soon.